Say that I am a student brand new to the Maple ecosystem and I don't know any of the built-in functions that are in the product. What I do know is that Maple can help me solve equations. So I have this equation right here that I would like to solve. I've typed it into Maple, but now how do I tell Maple to solve it? Well, I can click on this equation and I can see in the context menu over here there is a solve command. So let's try that. And that gives me the answers. But that's not what I want. I don't want the answers. I want to learn how to solve this equation. So let's try something different. Maybe I want to solve explicitly. Nope, that didn't help. Maybe I want to solve for this variable. Nope, that didn't help. Maybe I need some other help. Let's try this AI formula assistant. Um, I want some step-by-step -step solutions. It gives me an equation and tells me that we can factor it to this and then we get the answer. So it shows me how I got this, but it didn't actually tell me how to do this myself. Like maybe I don't understand what factoring means. So, okay, let's try our help because help is supposed to help. So step-by-step -step solution. And I've got a lot of reading to do. There's many documents that are listed here, uh, many more in these collapsed sections. And I'm a student, I don't have time to read through all of this. So let's try our next course of action, ChatGPT and ask a question like how to get the step-by-step -step solution but if we ask a general question such as this then the response is going to be very general it's not going to be related to maple because it doesn't know that we're talking about maple in this context so we would have to change the question to something like how to uh, sorry, how to get the step-by-step -step solution, solution using Maple. And now we should be able to get a more rich response back from the LLM. But here, you know, the, the answer that is generating is based on the data that was used to train this OpenAI model. And we didn't have control over what data was used to train. So we don't actually have very much confidence that what it's giving us here is correct. And we don't have control over where it's getting this information from. So, you know, which documents were referenced to give these solutions, we have no idea. But there's a better way. Now let's take a look at how we in can incorporate that information directly into Maple. So we've created the following application that uses OpenAI, uh, but it can use any other LLM as well, um, with our own custom data. So we've taken all of our help files, encoded them, and fed them into a vector store. Now, once this starts up, we'll be able to imagine the user being inside of Maple asking questions the same way that I was just asking them on the website. So here I can just say how to get the step-by-step -step solution and the response that we're going to get back is coming from our help data that has been pre-processed. So we're seeing the same sort of uh, output that we saw earlier, explaining how to use solve steps and all that other stuff. But now we can also get additional information as to where this information came from. And we can see that the top three scoring documents that were used to populate uh, the response came from this uh, Student Basics Solve Steps uh, document, the Student Calculus One Single Step, and this one here, Student Basics uh, Solve Steps again. And there's some additional information here, like uh, which part of the document 
was specifically referenced as well as what is the score or the uh, confidence that this answer is answering the question that the student is asking. So we can see here now we're getting sort of more rich uh, responses and we could use this additional information of where this data came from to actually make hyperlinks in the responses that the user would see back into the help documentation. So, you know, you can imagine that here, student basics solve steps. Let me just type that in. Student basics solve steps. Um, th the links that we would provide would be linking directly to this help document so that the user doesn't need to, you know, filter through a series of documents. Rather, they're just pre-filtered for the student and they can get to the answers that they're asking for.